Jaha de la es de lang es andi hangal gung. Atlans is es di gilling at la aoya gung. Nung skitas hinu had kisti kiang. Joe Hilaire Jr. hinu yats hade kisti kiang. Clummy gan hikta andlai stulti ijung. Do you teach jada gung? Hello, good people. I am really happy to see uh, to be here, and I'm honored with all of your presence. My name in Hadkil is Nungskatas, one who learns, and my name in English is Joseph Hilaire Jr. I come from the Lummi Nation and the village of Heidelberg. I am Two Spirit, and I wanted to start off by saying a uh, big haishka hawa to everyone at Children of the Setting Sun Productions and uh, my team at White Swan Environmental. Um, and also, I uh, want to give a special shout out to uh, my best friend, Santana Rabang. Although she's here in spirit, she wishes she can be here um, to witness all of the good work. Uh, however, she's over at MIT sharing her voice on behalf of her and her people on Earth Day. Um, I want to start off, also start off with um, discussing how closely connected um, the people in Lummi and pretty much all of the coastal native people um, are to cedar. We, I mean, look, I'm wearing a cedar rope and a cedar hat and you know, we make things like baskets and canoes and totem poles to, um, you know, travel on our ancestral highways and to, you know, gather different plants or go clam digging and um, all of that good stuff. Uh, speaking of cedar, I was messaging Shirley and Sadie earlier because I was freaking out. I thought I had. Um, I thought this hat had gotten stolen earlier today and I was like freaking out, but here it was just hanging up on the wall <laughs> behind the door. So I was like, you know, always good to have a mental breakdown, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, I um, been working closely with my Auntie Becky up in Heidelberg, um, making different uh, cedar projects. We've got a lot of potlucks coming up this summer and I'm really excited to be um, getting back into weaving, um, and I also want to touch base on the food sovereignty we have here and all along um, Indian country. Uh, there's always, you know, um, people who, you know, don't get the chance to go out on the water or have the resources to go harvest plants or um, different medicines. And it's just remarkable to me and special that there are people who do and they go out to the community and share those resources so they don't go without, especially the elders and people who uh, are disabled. So I just wanted to um, hold some space for those people because you know, there are pillars to our communities and it shows how interconnected everything is when it comes to the trees, um, the waterways, like how Sadie was saying earlier, um, all the rivers and creeks that fall from Mount Baker, uh, Quelshan, are um, the mountains, tears, and how powerful that all is to us. And also want to touch base on how deforestation is part of the climate crisis and how it's really hard for um, natives to see how much trees have been logged and taken away to different countries, um, all for profit. And um, it's something why I'm glad we have events like this because you know we can network and work to make stuff like that, um, work to make work to halt things like that, and. Um, which brings me to uh, share the 2001 Alaska Roadless Rule and how that was established about 20 years ago, uh, which protects 10 million acres in what is now Southeast Alaska, 
which are um, homelands to the Tlingit, Haida, and Tsimshian. Uh, earlier on this year, we um, were um, scared that it was going to be lifted because that's what the government was trying to do. And so we were um, trying to get as much uh, public comments submitted so that the, uh, the roadless world was, were to stay. And if you know that forest were to have been um, logged again, it would have a long ripple effect down to here, you know, because everything is connected and it's um, really special, uh, you know, to a lot of different Native people in that region. And I'm really glad to have gotten the chance through White Swan Environmental to host um, a, a movie screening to uh, raise awareness on that topic. And Um, now, I just wanted to share that at different spaces, or at spaces like this, I think it's important to recognize that the climate crisis is here because of colonialism, imperialism, and capitalism. And uh, I just want to say again, that's why I'm glad we have events like this. Thank you to CSSP. Um, that you know, this is giving us space to network and um, halt things like that, so we can save this planet for the next seven generations. And um, yeah, Hushka, thank you. <laughs>